Last time, we saw Paige Osborne take on Common Sense, and now her younger sister, Julia Phillips, is trying it out. Will she prove that she has Common Sense, too? Let's see. I would like to welcome Julia Phillips to the stage. So, Julia, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Julia. I'm from Pittsburgh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> really All right. Well, Julia, this is common sense, and the um, the rules are you get three strikes, three strikes and you're mm -hmm. out, and you get three helping hands. We have the Ask Jared, which is a 50-50% chance that Jared is telling the truth. There is also the Eliminate 2. You can use those on any questions you want. Eliminate 1, and then you can eliminate another one, or you can just eliminate 2, like on one question. Okay. And there is also uh, Ask a Friend, and you can ask the peanut gallery out there for help. So, are you uh, ready to play? I'm ready. All right. Question number one. Who was the first president of the United States? Was it A, John Smeaton, B, George Washington, C, Thomas Jefferson, or D, Theodore Roosevelt? Do you not know? Just take a wild guess or use your hands. We're not going to um, help you on this okay. one. Okay. <laughs> wait a minute. No, no. Okay, okay, wait. wait. Is, is D your answer? No, no. Okay, I'll just let them read the answers again. You didn't even hear them. Okay, Listen. who was the first president of the United George States? George Washington, right? That's like. But is that your answer? The answer was that. That wasn't D. Is that, is that's, that, your... that, that is what I think it was. was... Oh, George Washington? Mm -hmm. Ooh, well, I'm glad you didn't pick something else because that is correct. <laughs> I'm really not good with history. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. I, I'm not very good with it either. One man's common sense is another man's, like, how the heck could anyone know that question? All right, question number two. How many elements are on the periodic table? Okay. Is it A, 118, B, 119, C, 87, or D, 1,083? And remember, you got the, is that your answer? Yeah. That is correct. It is 118. Wow. Wow. All right. Good job, Julia. Thank you. Question number three. How many sides are there to a hexagon? Is it A, 8, B, 6, C, 1 million and 75, or D, 10? Okay, hexagon? A hexagon. Okay, what is A and B again? Uh, 8 and 6, and you do have your helping hands. Okay, um... And uh, just scoot up a little closer, I'm sorry. It's oh, just, no, it's okay. It's the way the camera is, it's um, really bad. But it's all we got to work with, sadly. Okay, I think it's, um, 8. Is that your answer? Yeah. I'm sorry, that's your first incorrect oh, one. Babe? Yeah, it was six. Yeah. But that, that was an honest mistake. And you still got close. two strikes left in all three helping hands. Okay. So question four. I knew it was between the two. Mm -hmm. Sax Romera is the author who created this famous Chinese villain. Is it A, Dr. No, B, Kim Lee, C, Fu Manchu, or D, Chin Hu? <laughs> Um, let's eliminate two. All right. So it is either A, Dr. No, okay. or C, Fu Manchu. I think it's Fu Manchu. Is that your answer? Yes. That is correct. Moving on to question five. You are doing great. <laughs> question five. How old is the sun? Is it A, 10 million years old, B, 20 million years old, C, 2.8 billion years old, okay. or D, 4.6 billion years old? Oh. We have a guest appearance. I think the dog wants to have a guest, too. Okay, can we repeat the answers one more time? But, um, how old is the sun? A, 10 million years old, okay. B, 20 million years old, C, 2.8 billion years old, 
Or D, 4.6 billion years old. Okay, and how many strikes do I have? You only have one, so you have two left, and you have all three helping hands. Well, actually, no, you have uh, two, two more helping hands, because you used the eliminate two. Okay, um, I'm going to go with... I'm going to do a billion or million. I'm just going to go with 10 million. Yeah, for sure, 10 million. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, was that 10 million? I'm sorry, but it is 4.6 billion years old, so that is your second strike. Okay. I'm sorry. But that's okay. You still have one left, and you still have two helping hands, which you can use. Okay. All right. So, hate to interrupt, but I have a quick announcement to make about this next question. So, sadly, there was some camera problems. I don't really know what happened. It was audio. But Julia got the question right, and she used her ask a friend. Sorry for the inconvenience, and damn my camera. <laughs> All right, question seven. Okay. Which Archduke's assassination is considered one of the major causes of World War I? Is it A, Franz Conrad? B. Seth Lewis, C. Franz Ferdinand, or D. Franz Rudolph. And remember, you have your ass Jared still. Um, I think I need a helping hand. Would you like to yeah. use your ass Jared? And he's a 50 Does 50 percent anyone... chance that he. It's yeah, only you've only got past Jared left. But keep in oh, mind I only have that. Ask Jared left. Yeah, and he's a 50 50 percent chance. So you want to go ahead and use him? And remember, yes. you're down to your uh, last one, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, we have to ask Jared on this one. Okay, so Jared believes the answer is Franz Ferdinand. He uh, says he's certain. Um, no. You don't want to go with Jared? No. So what would, would your answer be? Well, I don't know. well, Jared's been telling the truth a lot, but of course he could be lying too. It's just a 50-50% <laughs> chance. I don't know. I feel like Jared's lying to me. <laughs> is he not? Okay, what, can we repeat the answers again? Okay, so is it A, Franz Conrad, B, okay. Seth Lewis, C, Franz Ferdinand, or D, Franz <laughs> Rudolph? Okay, so it has to be a Franz. Or it could be me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, and Jared says it too? Uh, Franz Ferdinand. Ferdinand. Sorry. Okay, I'll trust Jared. <laughs> well, it's a good thing you did, because that is the correct answer. Oh, good Moving job. on to question number eight. You are the highest so far of the entire group. Good job. <laughs> question eight. Which of the following months doesn't have 30 days? Oh. <laughs> A, July. B, April, C, September, or D, November? And you can't use any more helping hands because you don't got any. April. Is that your answer? Yes. I'm sorry, it is July. Oh. Wait. What? Well, there's a guy. It's a trick question. Oh, it's a trick question. This year, 30 days. All right, well, thank you so much for coming. Is there anything you'd like to say to the camera before you uh, leave off? Good job, Julia. Good job, Julia. These questions are really hard. So. Oh, well, you did really good, eh? Thank That's you. the highest yet. Good job. See you later. Thank you. And thank you all for joining us. I'm glad she got the George Washington one right. <laughs>